Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm just going to do a really quick tutorial on a stitch called the stacked stitch or the alternative chain and chain. This is a stitch that I use frequently and what it does is it keeps nice clean edges on your work and it makes the turn and chain just so much nicer and so much more easier to um, work into. So you can do the stacked stitch with any with any stitch so you can do a stacked half double crochet a stacked double crochet and even a stacked treble so let me show you how to do it so ordinarily these are all double crochets and if i was to do what i would what would normally be requested it would be to chain three so one two and three and that would count as my first double crochet i would then double crochet in the next and following stitches but what's happened is that chain three leaves a gap it never looks nice and it's overhanging and so we want to make that a little bit more tidy we don't want that hole to be there so what we do instead is the stacked stitch so I have chained one and if I bring you in there we go and what we're going to do is insert our hook into the stitch yarn over and pull up a loop so there are two loops on my hook yarn over and complete a single crochet so that's the first part of the stack we are now going to stack another single crochet on the top of this one to do that I'm going to take my hook and I'm going to pierce it so I'm going to go straight through the stitch beneath yarn over pull up a loop so there are two loops on my hook yarn over and pull through both of these loops and that is a stacked stitch so if we look at it from the side there are two stitches so this would be a stacked half double crochet but because I'm doing a double crochet I'm going to do another stack so I'm going to take my hook insert my hook through the stitch so I'm literally poking right the way through the stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two so there's the stack double crochet with the three stitches so now I can continue to double crochet as normal across the rest of my work And the stitch looks just like any other stitch so it's not thin and flimsy like the chains would be it's got substance it's got substance to it so let me crochet all the way to the end and then I'll show you how you crochet into the top of these so I'm at the end of the work and I come to my last stitch which is a stacked stitch and instead of crocheting into a chain we are actually crocheting into a stitch we actually have a stitch to crochet into so you can see we have the two legs of the stitch so I'm going to double crochet into the top of this stack stitch like normal and it keeps the work looking neat and tight and it doesn't leave any gaps that the turn and chains leave so let's do a stacked half double crochet so chain one turn insert hook into stitch yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over pull through both of these loops that is our first st stacked stitch we're going to do it again so we're going to do two of them for our half double crochet so I'm going to pierce right the way through the stitch yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two so now I have two stacked stitches so that would be our half double crochet now let's do a double crochet which would be a chain three so we're going to do another stacked stitch so I'm going to pierce right the way through the stitch yarn over and pull up a loop so there are two loops on my hook yarn over and pull through both so I have three stacked stitches which would represent a double crochet and then if you were doing a treble you could even do it again so you could do it as many times needed so 
pierce the stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. And then we'd have enough stack stitches to do treble crochet across. So I hope that tutorial is easy. I hope you understand and I hope that you can neaten your work and the edges of your work with the stack stitches. Thank you.